All right, so let's flip it into our community. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Unblinded Sales Mastery, where you have where we show everyone the fun and excitement of exponentially growing their sales. My name's Fernando, and we are here every single morning, 8:30 to 9 o'clock, to help you see the fun and excitement that it is to exponentially grow your sales. It is Why Wednesday, and it's one of my favorite days. Um, so many things going on, so many beautiful people sharing what they're up to, what they're doing in the world. And I always love to start with our community, our movement, because Unblinded would not be what Unblinded is without every single one of you. Please believe that. Is there any new members? Is there anyone who's never seen that would like to say hello and maybe share like why they're on this call or who brought them here? So is there any new members or is there anyone that this is their first huddle that would simply like to say hello? You don't have to say your story, but please say your name, say hello. We want to hear your thoughts. We want you to speak. Is there anyone new? I would like to share why they're on the call today. Ready for today. Anyone else? Um, right. Hey, if nobody's there, we had a great uh, ecosystem merger yesterday with Rob Gill and Dave Harder of Epic. They came and visited the the shallowed halls of 194 Real Estate Group. That's awesome. Shout out to Rob Gill and Dave Harder. And we saw the videos, and Video. that is incredible uh, what you're doing. Jay, you are connecting with Rob. You connected us with Sean, who has monthly realtor events with 125 members, and now we're going to be speaking on their stage together. Yourself as your company and us as Unblinded, the true definition of ecosystem merging and that's the beauty about what we do here. We do it to help each other, to provide more money in less time with more magic. And before we go into a second share, so please be ready to unmute yourself unless Sean is on. Sean, are you yeah. with us? Hey, Frando. Yeah, no, awesome. I've been here. I heard Jay. That's awesome. But go ahead. Uh, take, is there a second share? Uh, let's see. Is there anyone who is new to the group who has never shared that would like to say hello? Sean is here. Um, let's give one more opportunity. Hey. Three seconds. Ready? Go. Hey, Fernando. Good morning. It's Dan. Hey, Dan, what's up, brother? All good, all good. Uh, not my first time on the call, but first time actually speaking. Just yeah, wanted Dan, to, exactly, uh, everyone. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Just wanted to, um, you know, say how, how blessed and how great these calls are and how useful they are. You know, for me, um, after the call yesterday, I kind of got to the office and I didn't really know what I was doing, what my plan was. And I said, you know what, let's get back to some process. I fired up the old CRM machine. Where I had a bunch of deals that you know that were waiting, and started getting after them with the team, and uh, made in, in the last two hours of the day more progress than we had in the last two weeks. So uh, you know, thank you for uh, you know keeping us uh, moving in the right direction. That's all I need to say. Yeah, Dan, that is phenomenal to hear, and thank you for that awesome share. And that's. That's uh, certainly one of many outcomes from these huddles. And, and for all of yeah. us, let's remember that what we're doing in every moment can always have multiple outcomes as we're working to be good, revealing truth, uh, moving things forward. And that is a, a beautiful, wonderful share. And for all of us out there, as you share and you contribute, as Jay just did, Dan just did, and you're bringing forward your energy um, and your thoughts, it's serving um, certainly yourself. It's serving everybody else who's on the huddle. Um, it's serving the unblinded movement overall. And what a movement means, by the way, um, so let's just share that for a second, is where people with a, a common uh, sense of thinking um, and desire kind of come together to do something. And what this movement is about is about people creating, uh, with integrity, more money and less time with more magic adding more value, merging of ecosystems, expanding together. And those aren't just buzzwords. Um, we talk each day about the mechanism of the formula and how things really work. And so a beautiful example of that is what Jay and Rob just did, that there's leverage created. Like Rob didn't have to create that meeting of folks. Um, you know, Jay has with the work um, of other people, combining efforts, combining their hearts. And similarly, then, um, Jay has, you know, a, a platform and situations that Rob will bring him into. And Rob is in rooms that Jay didn't have to work to assemble. And then sometimes it could be people bringing five people and five people, people bringing two people and two, 100 and 100. 
And that's what ecosystem merging is really about as people share their, their platforms of energy, of information, of uh, love with boundaries, um, of kindness, of respect. And that's what we're really here to do. And that's why Wednesday, the question we come to is what's your why? And for those that were at Unblinded Sales Mastery Immersion, we talked a lot about uh, why as that fuel that overcomes, how it relates to our legacy overall, who do we want to be, what do we want to stand for in the world? Are we people that are adding value? Are we people that are just maintaining value? Are we people that are taking value away and creating harm? You know, who is it that we want to be? What are the causes? What are the things that touch your heart? And they're different for each of us. You know, we're, we're not all the same. And the idea of unblind is certainly not to be the same. There were incredible models in my life that went, did everything from coached high school football and taught to built incredible um, empires of influence. Uh, somebody, you know, folks like Oprah or Jay Abraham or Tony Robbins or people that I looked up to enormously um, during my late 20s and still to this day in many ways. And yet my life looks very different than their lives. And my life, looks, my life looked different than the coaches that were incredible teachers and mentors and taught me about ego subjugation and crashing through. We'll talk about ego subjugation for a moment in a moment. So the, the idea isn't that we're all the same here. The, the idea is that our whys are what drive us emotionally. And there may be different charitable functions that touch your heart incredibly deeply. There may be different ways that you want your life to look and to be shaped um, that are different for each of us. Can you guys still hear me? Yes. Yeah. Just making sure I heard a weird noise. I didn't know if I clicked off in the phone. And so for, for each of us, um, the movement is more about living our lives right intentionally. It's not about, um, and certainly moving with integrity, for sure. Um, and, and for all of us, we, we're going to face enormous challenges each and every day. Um, we're going to face challenges in our self-mastery, our fears of failure and rejection emerge. We have people telling us, trying to shape what we should do, shouldn't do. Some of those people are amazingly well-intentioned. Some of them aren't. Um, some of them are our family, our friends. And there's significant, um, if not extraordinary, um, dynamics that, that emerge regularly and consistently for all of us. And it's grounding ourselves in our why, our certainty, our connection to it our evaluation of it and our reevaluation of it. So um, if anybody in a moment could share what their why is, uh, that would be supportive for everybody that's on this phone call for sure. And a why, again, is about that emotional base that drives us forward. And at one point in, in my life, it was to create a legacy for my family. Uh, a big part of that was to buy a beach house in Long Beach Island and replicate the incredible sacrifices that my grandparents made and, and what they did. And eventually that morphed into something larger, to have a larger impact for the world, which by the way, doesn't make it better. It doesn't even make it right. You know, um, I was incredibly proud of um, many things that I was achieving when I was living a life that was um, much more centralized in a small area. And I was impacting uh, soccer players, friends of my children, baseball players, uh, just their friends with the formula and with positive information. And it still touches my heart incredibly deeply when those people come to the, the Christmas party and Christmas holiday party, when those people reach out and text me and ask questions about where they're in their life. And that I feel extraordinarily grateful for. Um, and there are times when, you know, you sit back and think about, like, where does this all go? And what can we contribute? And I evaluate and reevaluate. Um, sometimes the larger the focus, right, the larger the focus, sometimes the more I feel like you lose some of the micro focus and connection. So my simple point in raising all that is to say that there's no right or wrong with what your why is. Your why isn't less because it's not um, desiring to be a voice heard around the world. It, it could be an incredible impact that you have by having your voice heard by a couple of people that have massive impact. You know, people don't know, um, let's say, um, people, people don't know, uh, for many of the, the most famous and powerful influencers in the world, you know, take the Tony Robbins, he talks often about Jim Rohn, 
many people may not know who Jim Rohn is, and Jim Rohn led an extraordinary life. But many people may not know who impacted Jim Rohn the most. I certainly don't. And that person may have um, lit Jim Rohn on fire to impact so many millions of people. And then he lit Tony Tony Robbins on fire, amongst others, who impacted even more people. So this is not a an assessment of we all need to have the same goals, outcomes in any way, to think the same. We could be anywhere in the continuum of creating our why and our legacy and creating outcomes. It could be that we're just looking to support our family um, more stably. It could be looking to have just that abundance to take a vacation. It could be to have a vacation home. It could be to raise money for charity, to change the rate of unemployment for the blind, to rescue you know young women and end sexual slavery, or just to save one girl with a donation from sexual slavery. So your why is okay. It's never too small. It's never too small. And that's for you to decide what's the right thing for you to be contributing and functioning in the world and for each of us and to evaluate and reevaluate. And our why, again, is that emotional juice that keeps us going forward in the face of fear and rejection that comes up for all of us to stop our zone action. So with that said, does anybody have anything they want to share about what their why is and what's happening for them? Yeah, Sean, do you mind if I go? Yeah, please. Who's this? Uh, it's Peter. Hey, Peter. How are you? Uh, great. Thank you very much. Finally got back to the UK. Um, so for those that weren't a, a Business Mastery or don't know it, there is a competition throughout the four days of Business Mastery. Uh, who can bring the most energy, love, excitement um, into the room? And that normally manifests into charitable giving. So this is my pure ego moment. For anyone that can see the video, that is the trophy that you get for being on the winning team. Hey, look at that. Um, and we were raising money to help uh, animals uh, affected in the Australian uh, bushfires. But the reason I wanted to bring this up was the reason we won and the sole reason we won is in every Hey, by the way, Peter, I had no idea. Congratulations. That is, I, I had to leave on the last day. That's awesome, brother. Yeah, we did $90,000 um, in merchandise and we got a million dollars worth of pledges. Oh my God. So, um, and that's now being set up. Extraordinary. A five, thank you. Into a 5013C today um, so that we can form a million dollar rapid reaction fund. Um, wow. That will hopefully be based on interest from pledges so that we can perpetually do that every year. So, yeah, it's, it's awesome. But what I thought was really relevant to what you were saying, every morning in our group huddle, someone would bring up that we wanted to win this thing. And the, the executive team, there was about five or six of us, shut it down every time and said, we're not here to win. We are here to save animals in distress in the Australian bushfires. And for every dollar we generate, we save another animal. And if we focus on that, if we focus on that as our true why versus the short-term winning, winning is a default. There, we will most certainly win this four-day mini micro event if we focus and we lean into our true why. So anytime anybody in the group brought up, yeah, we want to win, it's like, no, stop, 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 stop. Let's not focus on that. Let's focus on our true why, not our short-term why. And I think that's such a powerful thing. And Peter, if I could uh, th thank you, brother, amazing share. And if I could ask this, so saving animals in the outback, right? Let's let's play with this for a second. Why did that matter? So we could even take it a level deeper, because I'm sure the team was connected to why it mattered to save these beautiful animals. So in your heart, what would you share was the why for saving these animals? I my well, I connected back to my true why always, which is my daughter and my son. And everything I do, I envisage my daughter, specifically my daughter, because she was my first child. But if my son ever hears English recordings, I don't want him to think I missed out. <laughs> but I envisage my children 20 years time in a town on their own when I'm not there. And I need to find a way to influence the person that walks past them to say, are you OK? Can I help you? So if I want to influence this random stranger that's going to walk down this random road in 20 years time, I need to influence millions of people now. I need to get, as you said, with like Jim Rohn to Tony Robbins, to you, to me, to Fernand, all these, these spiders webs, these ripples that go out. I want to make sure that my children have the support they need from every single person in this world whenever they need it. Kind of extraordinary. 
Yeah. And that, I mean, that'll wake you up in the morning and keep you up late at night, brother. So thank you for that beautiful share and congratulations on one of the most powerful and impressive outcomes I've ever heard created business mastery. Those numbers are extraordinary. That outcome is extraordinary. And, um, you know, that is wonderful and beautiful, Peter. Thank you for the share. All right. With that said, um, thank you everybody. That's why Wednesday. Um, Jared is there. Um, and by the way, I want to acknowledge Jared because Jared has the unenviable task of um, keeping me reined in, uh, number one. Uh, number two, of administratively driving things forward. Um, I am always wanting to um, go and say yes and say yes some more and make things happen and to keep all this structured, moving forward and growing appropriately. Um, you know, Jared is got his head and mind and heart in the very important space of manager leader, um, amongst others. Um, and you know, he's he's certainly an artist and a wonderful entrepreneur, but that space is critically important. So Jared, I want to acknowledge you for that and uh, I appreciate you and anything you want to share. Of course, thank you for that. It really, it truly is a pleasure. It's a blast. Uh, I said this to you a number of times, and I said this to a few people. Um, I've done a lot of cool things as an entrepreneur, but this is hands down the most fun I've ever had. Uh, and what we are building, when I say we, it's every person that's watching this huddle live. It's every person that's going to watch the replay of this. What we are building has never been done before. Um, and I, it's, that's like, that's no hyperbole. That's no hype. That's just real. The movement of people that are committed not just supporting their own dreams and desires but to create freedom for others that's invigorating um so sean thank you it's fun to to work with you to pitch and catch with you i think the coolest thing about working with you is we don't even talk that much yet like, we're literally on the same page all the time so when things are right they're just right this movement is just right um and i'm excited and on why wednesday i want to put out a challenge to you guys let's get on video today and let's share our why I know that's scary for many people, right? That's getting into like the root of like why you exist in this world and to do it publicly is like the most overwhelming thought. Yet, when you do it, it gives people the permission to do it as well. And since our movement is about creating freedom for ourselves, but also creating freedom for others, that's an opportunity for you to deliver on that. So jump on video, share your why, share it in our movement, share it on your personal pages, and just watch what happens. The magic of sharing your why is the most fascinating thing. I have done this like dozens and dozens of times and the amount of breakthrough that I've had from a professional level to a personal level is extraordinary. So I have the courage today, knowing that there's gonna be hundreds and maybe thousands of other people in our movement that are gonna do it with you. Share your why on video today. Some housekeeping and administrative stuff. Mastery is on fire. We're gonna start sending out some information um, starting tomorrow so you can have access to the online platform where mastery will live. There'll be a welcome video and a process video in there so that you know exactly how to fully optimize your mastery experience. We're gonna share the cadence with you so you know exactly what to expect. And the coolest part of mastery outside of the training, which is the single greatest influence in sales training in the world, and the Q&A and the role playing is the community. There is literally an online community inside of this online platform that's going to be the, your, your access to create massive, massive ecosystem merging, like massive, like crazy stuff inside of this community. So if you're not in mastery, I'm going to say something and I hope that it lands for you. Zeus is coming out right now. You are better with us than without us. Let's do this. Give us a call. Yep. Head over to certification.unblindedmastery.com. Join us today. We're here to support you. Sean, I'll turn it back to you. Yeah, no, thanks, Jared. And let's get that why out there. And let's, I, I am so fired up. And we'll talk about dates for our next immersion. And between now and then, let's take on the extraordinary challenge of massive action, ecosystem mergers that are frictionless, driven by our whys. So you're expanding the quantity and quality for sales meetings, including this very day. Have an amazing Why Wednesday. Thanks. Bye.